Hi, I'm Susie Gordon. I'm a graduate student at University of New Mexico, and I'm an advocate for manned missions to Mars. Space programs around the world have been exploring Mars for years. We've learned a lot about Mars, especially in the past few decades, but we're still in the dark about a lot of aspects of the planet's formation and past. We've sent many rovers to Mars in the past, but they take weeks to finish their projects and are relatively stationary on the surface. Comparatively, astronauts are able to complete tasks autonomously and quickly, and if sent to Mars, they would be more mobile on the surface, allowing missions to involve more time for scientific discovery and less planning. Astronauts would be able to sample different areas of the Martian surface, as well as set up seismology stations to explore the interior of the planet for the first time. I think the best place for humans to land would be on Valles Marineris, a canyon the length of the United States and seven times as deep as Earth's Grand Canyon. This area is close to and may have been formed by the Tharsis Rise, a series of large and seemingly dormant volcanoes. We should send a manned mission to the area near these two regions and equip the mission with a vehicle that can check out both locations and see what both the areas can tell us about Mars's past from its volcanic origins to the area's sedimentation over time. The bottom of Valles Marineris could possibly hold the key to past or present life on Mars, with its atmospheric pressure that's comparable to Earth, which is different than any other location on the planet. A trip to Mars takes eight months, because Mars is pretty far away from Earth. Even farther than that! A trip to Mars involves an eight-month one-way trip, a few months exploring on the surface, and a return trip, which add up to a lot of supplies, a lot of downtime, and a lot of radiation exposure. It will be a challenge to survive on Mars, with daytime temperatures barely reaching zero degrees Celsius, very little oxygen, and extremely low air pressure. At the moment, we don't have the technology to send Earthlings to Mars safely, but current research and technological advancements are coming closer to making this trip to Mars and back a reality. It will be well worth the work to build new tools for space travel because these benefits will not only help future astronauts, but they'll also make life easier on Earth. Many of the high-tech gadgets we use today were once used for space exploration, and this trend will only continue as we set our sights on travel to the Red Planet. A lot of factors, scientific, political, and otherwise, are involved in the implementation and planning of missions to space, so it's hard to tell when the ball will get rolling on a manned mission to Mars. Once again, I'm Susie Gordon, and it's my mission to get humans to Mars.